clarity for everything, we're going to remove the radiator here. Now, if you remember with the radiator, um, I undid the top bracket was, that was the top support. Now, there's a hole here, and there's a hole with a slot over here. So, this one here, a 5.8, make that 11 16ths, banner fits it. It's a fine thread. So this side we only have to loosen. These have little rubbers under them, looks like a homemade rubber here. So this little video, we'll just pull the radiator out and we'll also pull the water pump off the front of the engine. And there's a couple of things there I'd like to show. So that screw comes out, yet yeah, this one just slides out, so that has to lift up and drain, drain the dirt out of the radiator so we don't make another mess on the floor. Now at this stage, I usually put this nut back on just to um, protect the threads. We won't be using the radiator again. Well that brings us into the water pump, so we'll come in a bit closer here. Try and line you up a bit better. And that has you around the centre of the screen. So, now this water pump, it has a couple of lock tabs folded over here to hold the fan on. And it's a trapezoid pattern. Now a trapezoid pattern means that these two bolts here are closer together than those two there. So it's not a square. And yeah, it looks like on the camera you can see that. So we'll grab a we'll grab our screwdriver and a little hammer. And the lock tabs can just be straightened out. And you can feel a bit of wear there. You can feel, feel movement in the fan blades. The fan's been loose. So it's wonder it wasn't getting hot, but it didn't seem to be. They used to leave it on the pump and it would run on the pump for hours and hours on its own. <clears throat> and it's a half inch, half inch spanner that fits that. firm thread wasn't going to fall off anyway. Straight in the cool of lens. That's the lore, isn't it? If there's a pot under there, it'll drop in it every time for sure. The fan's got a few dinged up edges on it. Well, it's probably been singing a song on the radiator shroud some time when there's been a bad water pump in there. Take 
is it, because I'll fall in the coolant as well. I'll put these screws back into the fan and sit them over here. Now, this water pump here still has the bottom radiator hose on it. That's the first hose that we undid, but we couldn't get to this screw easily because of the radiator. Nice Gates belt, good brand. Now the reason I'm actually showing you how to take a water pump off is because sometimes people have trouble with these engines getting water into the sump and I'll show you why. Excuse me for sneaking over in front there, rude bastard. So we'll get our half inch. Now these screws are little buggers to get to. Yeah, you've got to use your open ender. Or your little ring open ender. And they screw into an alloy housing, which can be problematic at times. got to use the open end because the rest jams up and you can't get the ring spanner over the top. Alright, I'll loosen these off, I'll get it nearly off and I'll come back. Okay, I'm on the last bolt on the water pump here. doing right and there's the there's the front of your timing case and here's the back of your water pump now what happens over time is this housing here wears through and I'll see if I can lever that off I think I've probably sold this stainless one to these people oh boy Now this plate here, when it hasn't got five ton of silicon on it, So this is a stainless steel backing plate and you can see where the water pump has been running around. It hasn't been touched, oh yes it has, it's been touching this. So that was that little bit of bearing movement we could feel before. And you can just see a slight little scuff mark there. So that would have been making a little bit of noise. But, but originally these had like a Bakelite plate in here and I've seen People pull heads and all sorts of things off and what's happened over time is the water pump fails, it eats through the baker light and no one notices and then it actually eats through here. Then <clears throat> if you see on this timing cover here, 
there's a couple of low spots there. So there's a low spot where it started wearing through, and that's a long one in there. I'll see if it's possible to hone in on there. You probably weren't seeing what I was seeing there. There you go. That's that's the timing cover. A better picture of it. But yes, here there's a hole starting, and there's another one there, just starting. And what happens is all of a sudden everyone's got water dropping into their sump. And they look everywhere for it, and they get the engine looked at, and they get the head off, and they think it's a blown head gasket. And on these little AD3 or A3152s, even, um, it can just it can just be this Bakelite plate worn through from a water pump at some stage, not replaced, and it can get in through that timing cover. So uh, there's just a little video just to make you aware of that. You know, it may save you a little bit of heartache one day.